does that will lead to third down. <laughs> Off the play fake to Jones. Here's Rodgers. Open man is Allison complete. And that will wind up moving the chains again as the tackle is going to be made at the Seahawks 38-yard line. On play action, Rodgers flush to his right. They'll let this go for the end zone. And that is incomplete. Ooh. Show off the arm strength there, but to no avail. Don't give it to him because you never give it to my ass, matter. It's called spade to spade. Don't give him that damn challenge. Work again from the 38 on second and 10. And let's pin the mirrors back and go full strength. <laughs> to throw again, Rodgers. It's Williams on the catch. Call it a pickup of seven. And just like oh, yeah, that, it's coming. third down. The Packers on third down. They've converted a third of their opportunities. Three for nine. Here it's third and three. And able to find Graham. Complete. Two former all pros connecting. Rodgers finding his tight end, Graham. Packer first down. They go play action here on first down. And nearly another interception. Bobby all over the field. They've been around the ball all game. Another wayward pass. You know, things started out poorly in this game, and to be frank, they just really haven't gotten much better. And all that does is embolden the secondary. They feel good about what's going on, and they just play better and better. They get him to the ground right on the cusp of the red zone after a pickup of five or six. So it's Packer football here as we welcome you back. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Jones. And this has been a familiar sight all afternoon as they stop him behind the line. Now Rodgers. That is caught inside the five. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. Some collective exhales over there on the sideline. A big pick up through the air on fourth down to bring up first and goal. Now that sends him two yards in the wrong direction and leads to second down. Back at the five-yard line now, second and goal. They try to throw on second Bobby. down, but this one is incomplete. Nothing doing there as the 13th play of the drive proves to be unlucky. At this point, down big, you'd have to imagine this defense are just going to sit back, blanket the field as best they can. Yeah, this is actually the easy part of the game for them because, just as you noted, they can sit back, keep everything in front of them. They Bobby. blanketed the field the entire game using a variety Bobby of Bobby Wagner something, everything. On third down, they take a shot at the end zone, but it's God incomplete. Damn. Maybe one final chance here to make this a bit more respectable as he'll go for it on fourth and goal. Here's Rodgers to throw. The quick oh, we gave it to you. He's going to take <laughs> it in. Touchdown, Packers. Oh, we gave it to you. A five-yard touchdown. And the Packers make some inroads here on that deficit. They just don't make the score look so bad, that's all. The extra point, and the lead is down to 24. <laughs> So it would no doubt be a miracle comeback from here, but let's see what they can do starting with the onside kick. And the Seahawks, looks like they've recovered. They have. Now they're down big here in the fourth. They had to try the onside kick. Can't fault them for the effort at least. No, you can't at all. And if nothing else, now you've put something that you're trying to practice, right, that you, you've worked on into a game situation, and now you can go back and dissect it. So if you need it again sometime, maybe you'll find a better way to do it. But, yeah, this game's pretty much done for them. And they'll wind up getting this to the 37. Gain of nine. Nine yards is the pick up there, and they'll have a second and one. Just because I feel like uh, the last run got nine, that leaves him with second and a yard. Oh so well. Oh, Wilson gonna throw. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Zadarius Smith getting him once again in his third sack of the afternoon. So the victory here for Seattle, and never an easy thing to do, no matter how good Green Bay is, what the year is, to come into Lambeau and get the victory, but they did it. You're not just battling the team that you're playing that day. 
You're not just battling the crowd that's in attendance in that game. You're battling the history of the franchise. You're battling the ghosts that swirl around that place that help spur them on to victory. It is an unbelievable atmosphere, the most historic place in the league, and you have to make sure you stay focused on your task Otherwise, you can get easily distracted. Yeah, hats off to them for keeping that laser focus and getting the victory. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn. And this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. With that, we say so long, everyone, from Lambeau. Seahawks ain't no joke, man. It's for the taking. No hesitation. Don't try my patience. I'm a boy. I went for the set. Boy, till there's nothing left. I know went to the bed until we all got them baguettes. Hear them footsteps coming because we coming for the trip. This is the NFL on EA Sports, and we are in the Pacific Northwest at CenturyLink Field in Seattle, Washington. This crowd, as we've come to expect in recent years, as loud as any in the NFL, and they get even louder when their Seahawks are introduced. We're ready for football Cowboys. as the Seahawks get set to do battle with Dak Prescott they probably, and the they Dallas must have the Cowboys. On the, on, the, on the game. That's why you play it, they ass. Here's Kai Forbath now to get us started. And off we go from Seattle. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And the decision to come out is going to cost him five as he's taken down right at the 20. On first down. And the catch is made here by Tyler Lockett. And he'll get this up to the 30-yard line. Not 11 yards there and a first down for Seattle. Slam route's effective no matter who's running the route and catching the ball. But when you have a receiver of that stature, you have to be a little bit more precise throwing it. You don't have the same catch radius with the bigger targets. Let's bring it. Watch safety creep. Watch safety this is the Oklahoma State alum, Chris Carson. And he went nowhere. He'll lose yardage back to the 29. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. It's probably a pretty good sign here on the opening drive of your guys from the secondary are coming up and spilling things in the backfield. How about the adrenaline and aggressiveness that led his eyes to the backfield to run up there and make that tackle, setting a tone early for his defense. It wind up with positive yardage. It's a gain of three, but now it's third down. Third and 
On third down, Wilson. Oh, he almost picked it. Nearly a turnover there on their opening drive. And that's a throw he'd like to have back. Now fourth down. So the defense able to get off the field here on third down. And it's one of the goals of the game. They've got to be effective on passing downs. It's one of the few things defenses chart. How did we do on third down? That's a nice start for them in this one. Steps away to his left. He can run for it, and he will. And he's going to be out up around the 45-yard line. Good coverage downfield led to him taking off, picking up the first down on a 13-yard run. First down, first and 10 at the 45-yard line. What? 20! They'll throw on first down with Wilson. He'll find Ballore out of the backfield. Give him two yards on that play, and that'll make it a second down. Now that's often a surprise for the defensive guys when they see the big fella slide out of the backfield and catch the ball. Not something they usually go over in practice very often. So second and eight here after the pass play for two yards on first down. Wilson. It's caught, lock it. It's a gain of 15, first down Seahawks. I don't believe that this opening drive is surprising to either one of us after the time we spent with the coaching staff and players prior to the game. What about you? Absolutely. Not only that, but that big article in the paper this morning about their philosophy on starting games like you're shot out of a cannon, and that's what they've done. Very methodical here on this first drive. Yeah, so many teams talk about that fast start. We're actually seeing it happen right here in front of us. <laughs> but now the kicker. Can they cap it off by putting the ball in the end zone? That should have been touchdown. Eight down. yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. Brings up second and two at the 30-yard line. Say what? Eight yards the tally on that first down run. Here's second and two. I got it. Shoot, shoot, shoot. 25, 25. Now Wilson. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Antoine Woods able to take him down. It's a loss of three. Here's Wilson. Open man is Metcalf. He's got it. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 22-yard line. Nice job keeping that opening drive alive, and they're in plus territory, that part of the field where you really want to convert on third down. They did. Big time pickup for them, and now I think the aggressive play callers think to themselves, this part of the field, I take my... And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off by Jeff Heath. He's got daylight. 20, 10. And he takes this one huh. back into the end zone, and the Cowboy defense has a touchdown. That was an interception, but on the field, the guys who are picking it off, they're not saying that. What word are they using? It's Oski. And that means catch the ball and go the other way. That's your vernacular. I've never heard anybody say Oski. Ask around. They'll tell you. Formath, the extra point, and that makes the score 7-0. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And nice work on the return as they'll start their drive just past the 30-yard line. Here's the Seattle offense ready to get this drive underway. And last time, decent field position through the pick six. Obviously costly. 
but they can't afford to just bunker in now. All right, they, good field position means go ahead and attack down offense. Try and press the advantage a little bit. They just have to be better with the football on this possession. So the last that didn't bother you too much last time? No, because it's, it's exactly what you're supposed to do. You can't have good field position and not try to take advantage of it. Sometimes the defense makes a good play, too. Line of scrimmage, the 31 as they line up second and 10. A give to Lynch from the shotgun. And he'll get this up only to about the 33. He only got a couple on that one, so not a ton of help. They'll have a third and eight forthcoming. From the gun, it's Wilson. And that is incomplete. Not only was the call spot on, how about the execution of that defense right there? Zone was absolutely locked up tight. He was trying to force it in there on third down. But if there's a time to force it, he felt like he needed to make a play, right? Yeah, exactly right. Third down, you got to try and find something. There's nothing available there for him. This offense converted once already in this first quarter. They're going to try it again here on fourth down. Now it's Wilson dancing to his left. He may try and run for this. A nice job there on the escape and scramble. A first down, a 16-yard gain. The last drive, remember, similar situation. He forced a ball into coverage through the pick. He learned better there. Yeah, similar to a golfer that's confronted with a shot that you just can't make. Sometimes you have to take your medicine, as they say, right? Just pull it down, take off, and go. Don't make something worse than what it was. From midfield now, here's Wilson. Forced out to his left. He's going to take off with it. Yeah, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. Good coverage downfield led to him taking off, picking up the first down on a 13-yard run. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. After one, 7 0 on EA Sports. First down, the run with Lynch. And he'll be brought down, losing yardage back at the 40. That's going to wind up a loss of a full three yards on first down. Now on second and 13, Wilson, he'll take a shot for the end zone. And that's going to be incomplete. Good oh, no, there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. One thing I know from experience is that when the deep ball is thrown and you're the defender, you've got to fight that little bit of panic that emerges. You've got to play the ball really well. It's a 50-50 jump ball play. And guess what? They took a shot. How are you going to win it? And in this case, they managed to get it done. Wilson now 5 out of 10, 50% throwing it. Not so hot, but he does have a first down. Now it's Wilson. And he's wrapped up. Taken down. Back at the 25. Defensive end Demarcus Lawrence applied the heat. So after the sack here, second and 14. Throwing is Wilson. Now they go screen. It's complete. And they'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. They get seven there on the screen. It'll set up a third down. I wonder what was going through his mind when he got the play call. He just got sacked on the previous play. He knows they're coming after him again. A little bit of guts to stand in there and take the hit and successfully complete the screen pass. Really well done. On third down, Wilson being chased out left. He can run for it, and he will. And he's able to pick up the first down before he's tackled right at the 10. Eight yards that time, able to take off, and the result is a first down. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. It's a good pickup of seven yards, and now they're looking at second and goal. They'll try to run with Carson. And he's going to get this back to the three-yard line and no further. Nothing doing there as the 13th play of the drive proves to be unlucky. Two straight shots on the ground. Now on third, do you go? And he's going to score. It's a Seahawk touchdown. A three-yard touchdown run as they are now on the board here in the first half. 
They were looking to pass the ball there, but they forgot to account for the man with the football. Yeah, I can hear people right now saying, well, why don't you have a spy in your defense, someone who will dance with him and go where he goes? Well, oftentimes, if you utilize a spy, you've taken away someone in coverage as well. And oftentimes, the spy, not as athletic as the guy he's trying to keep up with, so he gets defeated anyway. And he turns third and goal into a touchdown. And he's able to get it across the 20. Thank God Russell has legs. And Russell we trust. much as he's marked down at the 21 yard line. So Prescott of the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 21. They start on the ground with Elliott. And he got blown up on that play back at the 20. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. Elliott. And he's going to get seven out of this before being taken down at the 27. We've hit the two-minute mark of the first half. All knotted up at seven. I don't know what you're saying. A reminder that when halftime rolls around, Jonathan Coachman will have all the highlights and analysis of this first half of play from our studios in Orlando. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. You can tell they were hoping for a flag there offensively. Several on the sideline motioning. Hey, why not a penalty? Why not a penalty? I, what did you see? Yeah, I think you've got to let them play, and the officials are instructed. If there's contact coming from both sides, no flag. Let them follow that. Forces fourth down. Now, meanwhile, they go. got third on fourth down, and my goodness, incomplete. Boy, a curious decision to go for it. Doesn't pan out. And the Seahawks, they'll get the football back in outstanding field position. This is caught. And they are able to stop him, but he does take it all the way to the two. 25 yards that time. First and goal at the two-yard line. From the shotgun, Wilson eluding the pressure right. And he's going to score. It's a Seahawk touchdown. Russell Wilson with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Seahawks have taken the lead. Extra point up and through by Myers. Better bring a motherfucker spy down. But if you bring that spy, I'm going to tear that defense up. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he'll take this up past the 20 and down at the 22-yard line. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. That 7-0 lead in there is short-lived as they've now given up two straight touchdowns to fall behind by seven. Yeah, but no cause for discouragement here. Yeah, they've fallen behind, but haven't they proven that they can go down and score? So what was the formula to get them down there the first time? Get back to something close to that, and maybe they can get this game tied up. Oh, and a bad throw there. It's intercepted. Picked off by Brad McDougal. And they will finally stop him as he's down to the 40-yard line. You're trailing. You're trying to get points late in half. I absolutely understand that. But remember, it's all about the ball. And without the ball, you can't get those points. They just turned it over. Now you got to be careful because that deficit can get a little bigger on the other side with that good field position they just took over with. To throw is Wilson. Buying time to his left. 
He'll try and run it. Oh, it won't be a sack, but go. it's no gain, and it brings up second down. Well, he strung it out as far as he could, and I like the fact that he kept his I'm eyes down. Field, in there now. But he finally ran out of time and room. But I'll take that over forcing it downfield and possibly having it intercepted. To throw again on second down. Wilson. Oh, he took too this much is gonna wind on up it. incomplete. The coverage there too strong on the deep ball, and now they face a third down. One of the toughest things about playing defensive back is pattern reading, trying to figure out what they're doing. And on that one, they had the fly, just sending the guy downfield with the in route accompanying it. What people call a dagger route, trying to hit the guy underneath after the clear out. In this case, though, they're not able to get it done. Yeah, they said forget the underneath route. They went for the guy on the fly, but as you said, incomplete. On first and ten, it's Wilson. This complete to Rocket. And he will score. Touchdown, Seattle. Tyler Lockett. As the first half is winding down. Here the Seahawks are able to stretch that lead out a bit further. Myers connects on the PAT. And it's now 21-7. the touchdown here's Myers to boot it away that's fielded in the end zone and he'll take it back to about the 19 yard line About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And the ball backed way up. So thinking with this amount of time on the clock, probably just sit on it and we'll see these two teams go to the lockers. Yeah, I don't think you want to overthink it in this situation. Either side of the ball. Just go ahead and finish up the half and get on out and talk about it. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. From all the way up at the 38 now after a good start to the drive. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away. Pass interference, nigga. Amari Cooper, his intended receiver, but it's going to be second down. They work again from the 38 on second and 10. Now whistles and a timeout with three seconds left in the first half. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. From the shotgun, again to Elliott. And he's going to be taken down here as that will lead us to the end of the first half of play. So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. <laughs> Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. That's fielded in the end zone. And he will be brought down here at about the 17-yard line. Where you at? Let's go defense. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. They trail offense first time to touch the ball in quarter three, and we'll see what they can do. And I can't wait to see what they have planned because some teams script to start a half. Other teams just go, okay, these are the sequence of plays we want to run. These things worked well for us. And sometimes they throw in that big chunk play right away. Shocker. Try and get after them early and try and create a big play to give themselves some momentum. See what they have up their sleeve. On second and 11 now. Prescott got an open man. It's Michael Gallup. And they work this well upfield across the 45. That one a gain of 20 in a first down. The first down carried by Elliott. 
And he's up across midfield and down into Seattle territory. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. Let's talk a little football 101 here because one of the keys to advancing the ball downfield, success on first down. Huge difference, as we know, between second and four and second and eight and nine. On second down and four, Prescott. That's complete to Cobb. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. Give him 15 there, and the Cowboys have a first. Well, if you do read man coverage, Brandon, All right, the somebody's got to play football now. Run against it because you're running away from people on it. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Now Prescott escaping the pressure right. And now he's going to use his legs. The coverage may be too good that time as he breaks away for 19 with his legs and a first down. Partner, he was going through his progressions. Not there, not there. After about the third one, he decided he better pull it down and run for it. And he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure. They'll run on first down. It's Elliott. They showed off a nice juke of the defender before the next wave could bring him down. Ten yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice, solid game. The disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fits and leaves creases like they were able to explode right there. Give them two Check yards. Two, three, that sets him up first and goal. They'll try to run it in with Elliott, and he will take it in for a Cowboy score. Punching it in from a yard away as his guys are back within a single score. That's the score you felt they had to have here in the third quarter to get back in this game. And you know that there's an emphasis on their side. Hey, we know this. We know where we are. But sometimes that binds you up so much that you try too hard, you don't get the score. A perfect combination of urgency, yet relaxed enough to get it done. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he'll wind up about four yards shy of where he would have been if he'd taken a knee as they'll start at the 21-yard line. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. And they had to wait a long time to get the football back. Probably not what you were hoping for when you got an offense that's humming. Agreed. What you were looking for is the defense get the ball back pretty quickly, right? Hoping for a three and out. So that didn't happen. You can't yell at your D for that. They've got to take care of their own business and reestablish themselves now that they're back on the field. From the 21, it's second and 10. There's Wilson to throw. That's caught by Hollister. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before you get a good head of steam going. Now Wilson. This one into the hands of Metcalf. And he gets it to the 32. Good enough for a first down. With a quick slant, good for eight and a first. And just a small glimpse there as to why they like this rookie so much. And that's why they lit up a little bit in our meetings with the coaching staff, didn't they? Yeah, when they? we talked about him, they did. Yeah, you know, they like his work ethic. You know, this guy's running every route well in the route tree and getting better at it all the time, really honing his game. They expect a pretty good job. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Malik Collins breaking through to get him to the ground. It's a loss of seven. Great job defensively. I think he was trying to go through his progressions, find someone to get rid of the football. Before he knew it, he was on his back. So that just brings us right back to what you said in the beginning. A great job defensively. Nowhere to go with the football. That led to the sack. Now this one complete downfield on the left side. That one a gain of 20 and a first down. And when you're playing a quarterback with some experience and some moxie, you enter the danger zone when you decide to blitz him because if he's able to diagnose as he did on that play, he can hurt you downfield. He reads defenses so well, doesn't he? He really does, and the best part about that play for him, I don't think that was his primary target. I don't think so either. I think he had the read, figured out where the blitz was coming from, and went to a secondary target for a really nice game. It's second and at their 48-yard line. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. And that'll do it for the end of the second quarter. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. And we got to get to the ball, team. We got to get to the ball. Let's keep it going.
From just shy of midfield, Wilson going for Metcalf on the... That's caught inside the 20. And all the way in, touchdown Seattle. DK Metcalf, 52 yards. And the Seahawks are able to stretch that lead out a bit further. As a former DB, you might not like to see that, but from a wide receiver's perspective, those are the plays they dream of. Correct on both counts, <laughs> all right? Because once he took off, I mean, let's face it, that should have been done in big sky country. There aren't any speed <laughs> limits out there? And off he went. Glad I wasn't the one trying to chase him. And after the touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. This is taken about seven yards deep. And he'll bring it a few past the 20 to the 23-yard line. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys' offense. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tackle and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. 36 yards on the play. On first down, Elliott. Making the stop that time, Bobby Wagner. On second and nine, Prescott. He's going to find Gallup here complete. And that'll wind up moving the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the Seahawks' 20-yard line. From the red zone now, Prescott. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. That's Ziggy Ansah, the number five pick in 2013, credited with the sack. And no matter what the situation, the O-line just hates that because they feel like they didn't protect little brother back there, right? Man, that's just so difficult for them because just think about every single play. When you decide to throw the football, you're dealing with some of the best athletes on the planet. You talk about guys, if they weren't playing football, they'd be starring in the NBA at power forward. It's a really difficult task. Give him seven there on the tuck and run, and they're in better shape now for third. Third and long for Prescott. Completes it to Jason Witten. And they're going to mark him down short, maybe by about a yard, if that. It's a pickup of 13, but they're still a bit short, and it'll be fourth down. They'll run it with Elliott. And he will have the first down inside the 10 to the 9-yard line. The time to pull out the stops is now, and they convert there on fourth down. Here's Prescott, and he'll take it into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. A nine-yard touchdown grab as his guys are back within a single score. Forbath able to convert the extra point, and now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. Forbath to send it away now following the touchdown. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And he'll be brought down at the 23, make it the 24-yard line. Here's the Seattle offense ready to get this drive underway. After the touchdown we just saw, we have a brand new ball game. And now look at the situation. You've got plenty of time. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Why are you throwing behind this nigga? And he'll get this back to the 32-yard line. A critical error there in a tight game of the fourth. All you talk about is taking care of the football, and especially with a lead here in the fourth quarter. Turning it over, now the door is open for the opposition. Just in general, when you're passing in the fourth quarter with a lead, no matter what point, you got to be super careful. Got to be careful, and sometimes you can be so careful that you end up running yourself into an error. So the Cowboys in possession of the football here as we get you reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. 
Looking to throw again on second down. Prescott will set up the screen to Elliott. Give him five on the screen play, and that'll set up a third down. They'll look to throw. Caught by Cobb. And he will have a first down at about the 21-yard line. Give him the third down conversion. Five yards on the play. Prescott. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. Jaron Reed in there to drop him as that clock continues to run. He's back to throw. And oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Picked off by Quadre Diggs. And he returns it here to his own 18-yard line. Intended that time for Cooper. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. And three timeouts remaining here defensively, but really not much reason to use them at this point as this one is all but over. If they use the timeouts here, it's strictly for show. we got a plane to catch. They stay on the ground. Again, it's Carson. And this time he's not going anywhere. They'll get him down right at the line of scrimmage. The Cowboys going to use their second timeout now as they'll stop him with a little over 30 ticks to go in the football game. On third down, Carson. And this has been a familiar sight all afternoon as they stop him behind the line. Doubling this guy has to be a priority before moving up to the next level because the big fella, he just ate that one alive, just stuffed it. In fact, before the game, he was talking to us, and he's like, hey, these pants make me look fat. And we said, nah, man, you're just a whole lot of guy. He is at well over 300 pounds. He's a big man. And just a 30-yard punt that time. And the Cowboys are going to take over in great position here with a first and 10. I got you, Trying to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. He's got a man complete. It's Amari Cooper. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Well, going into the final play of this game, they knew that they needed some type of a miracle there at the very end, but they couldn't get it done. However, we were treated to really a spectacular affair. Even though they didn't finish it off, you're exactly right. They took us down to the last play. We're still, you're wondering, could it happen? Possibly, even though we both knew it was a long shot. What? He went the Patriots. What? He said, I'm going to get serious in this bitch.
Hey, we'll find out. This is the NFL on EA Sports, and we are in the Pacific Northwest at CenturyLink Field in Seattle, Washington. These folks love their football in Seattle. This was the scene a moment ago. We as will the find squad out. Came out of the tunnel, and it was just absolutely deafening in this building. They're set for football. So are we as the Seahawks get set to match up with the New England Patriots. And he's able to get it across the 20, but not by much as he's marked down at the 21-yard line. Check, 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 check. Now Wilson on first down. That one going to be complete to David Moore. And he's taken down but able to slip across the 35. 17 yards on the game's opening play and a quick first down. For a Seahawks. First and 10 at the 38-yard line. From all the way up at the 38 now after a good start to the drive. Out of the gun, here's Wilson. And he's got the hook up to Moore. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. Brent, I think we can see early on, they're making a concerted effort to get him the football. So to me, that means they like the matchup that they have. They feel like he's better than the guys that are covering him. Two plays, two passes. We'll see if they go back to that one. That's complete to DK Metcalf. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots' 45-yard line. So into Pat's territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 45-yard line. Again, Wilson. That's into the hands of his tight end, Will Disley. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. Good work after the catch. We came to play, man. 23 and a first. Wilson going to lead his guys up first and 10. And he's four for four now, throwing the ball to start the drive. To throw is Wilson. Steps away to his left. He's going to take off with it. He'll wind up getting right about four there on the scramble. And it's second down. Check, check. Watch 54. Watch 54. Second down, man, man, man. Second down, six. At the 18 yard line. Throwing again on second down. Wilson firing what? quickly, but it's incomplete. I don't see more of them trying to get him the football out of the backfield. They love what he, he can did do catch that big. And I don't know why he dropped it. Matches they can exploit. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. Wilson. Oh, he tries to get it to Metcalf, but it's bullshit. Picked off down at the 10. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. A, no ah. doubt, a very disappointing end to what was a pretty strong opening drive. They had three points in their back pocket. It was there for them. If you don't like what you see, just throw it away. Make sure you get those points on the board. Don't get too greedy. He forced it there. You saw the end result. And not much here as he'll get it to the 11, maybe the 12-yard line. On play action, it's Brady. That's caught by his team. He should have dropped that shit. He should have dropped that shit. But not before he gets this across the 25 yard line. Now a first down carry. It's Michelle. He takes this for three to the 29. From the 29, Brady, and it's hauled in by Ben Watson, and he gets this one just shy of the 40, they'll mark him down at the 39, the 10-yard pickup, and it's enough for a Patriot first down. They fake the handoff, now Brady, he's going to wind up and air it out, what? and it's caught inside the 30. A big play there for New England. Mm. Even 60 yards. 
Excellent execution, and now they're set up nicely. Are they ever? Red zone? I wonder what the next play we all thought is going it was to be because after a big play like that, a lot of teams like to use momentum to launch another one. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. Michelle on an island by himself in the backfield, second and goal. Brady has a man. Really? For the Patriot he didn't smack at it or nothing. The three-yard touchdown pass as his guys are able to strike first here in this opening quarter. And the QB rating right now is sky high. Four for four on that opening drive, and it ends with a touchdown pass. Yeah, I don't know quite how to figure it out. I think I need my friends from MIT to come in and help me. <laughs> I think 158.3 is the number one. Yep, that's the, right, that's the highest you can get. That's where he is. He'd like to continue on that pace. This is taken about seven yards deep. And he'll wind up about four yards shy of where he would have been if he'd taken a knee as he'll start at the 21-yard line. Here's the Seattle offense ready to get this drive underway. And the interception thrown in the red zone last time. We'll see if they can rebound. I just have to think the last thing he said as they went back out there was, don't do that again. What do you think? <laughs> what do you think? Yeah, I think that. I think mm. he did say that. But he also told him, let's put it in the end zone that it's supposed to be in, all right? The end zone we're trying to score. I know we're being a little bit facetious here, but the bottom line Bullshit. is take care of the football, and everything else should flow from there. Quick lesson, never ask the play-by-play -play guy a question. <laughs> hey, you're my partner. I know you're right there with me. What's the Check 13! Check 13! The first carry now for Marshawn Lynch. And he's up in it after a gain of four up to the 25-yard line. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. What? Who's the key? On third down, Wilson. And Where is he going into nigga? Complete. Uh, give them credit. They took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. Fuck it. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely. Just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. What? Wilson in the offense, not coming off the field. They're going for it on fourth. Here we go on fourth with Wilson. And an alley to run. Good coverage downfield led to him taking off, picking up the first down on a 13-yard run. Not sure I agreed with the decision to go for it, but I definitely agree with his decision to run it. He picked up that big first down. I think he let his head coach off the hook. I, that's what I was just going to say. If there's anybody more happy than the quarterback picking it up, it's the coach that saw him pick it up. That'll be marked as a 27-yard pickup. Never make the mistake that the slot receivers, especially the little guys that we're watching here, are just quicker than fast. A lot of them combine quickness and speed, and they catch a lot of footballs, as we just saw there. Come on, hold on to the ball, bitch. Over the dime look on defense, two extra defensive backs on the field and covered up essentially every blade of grass. All right. them to disrupt the play. Still early. On 34, they'll come to the line on second and 10. Throwing again. Wilson. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. He's got a first down and much more inside the 20. And he's going to get it down to the 14 yard line. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots 14. 
when you run a screen pass really well, you got to like the look of it because so many parts come together to make it work well. The offensive linemen where they're faking people out, the back slipping out there, catching the football, then all of them going together as one unit. Oh, pick. Field, a really Ooh. nice pickup. Now a throw to the end zone on the first down. But they bullshit me. They bullshit me. Safeties have less ground to cover. You that that nigga can't guard you. Not much space to get a ball in there. Yeah, when that field shrinks with those safeties, it's almost like there's a couple extra. That nigga can't hold there, you. Right? It certainly is. They end up taking up extra space just because there's not enough space for receivers to run through. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the throw. That nigga can't hold you. It's a good gain of 11. Sets him up first and goal. Here's Wilson to throw. End zone caught. That nigga can't hold you. What I, I tell you? There to make the grab as they are now on the board here in the first half. Bouncing back nicely from Let's that go. drive where he threw the interception. Get himself a game, boy. Leads him right down the field and into the end zone. So obviously his confidence. Let's play some damn defense. Good thing to see. Great quality to have. You absolutely must maintain that as a quarterback. I have to think that they're probably still on the script that they prepared for this game. Just a second. Strip it, strip it. They've worked on these plays all week in practice. Put them, in, put them to good use on that one. Oh. I can't get up this damn long. Position led to a touchdown. This time they're going to have to work for it. They are, but with that last drive, that culminated Oh, that's me. I think they carry that confidence into this one. Doesn't matter where you start with the football. Oh, I'm about to say, if he would have caught that shit, I would have, I would have, I would have cut the game off. I would have cut the game off, and I would delete it. Matter. <laughs> They'll run it here. This is James Wayne. And this may be a carbon copy as he'll again be stopped right I would have cut this shit off and deleted matter. No gain on that one as it brings up a third and ten. Play action. Now it's Brady. Into a double team and it's intercepted. Picked off by Brad McDougal. And he is going to get this one back to the 20 yard line. That interception sets the. Well, he, tried to, he tried to lay him out. In the red zone. And you can hear it all the way up here. Oski, Oski, everyone turned to block, find a spot. And now they're set up inside the red zone for their offense. SOS, SOS, SOS. SOS, SOS, SOS. SOS, SOS. They need some help. Somebody help him. Down. Ah, fucked it up. Only gonna get a yard from the 20 to the 19. That's all right. Partner, you know, we get at least three of them. So. Tendency to do something a little bit different from the norm. But when you run the ball in the first play of the drive, that's not a tendency breaker at all. That's just trying to establish yourself as you move forward. On second and nine, Wilson, and he fires one. Bro. It's been my observation. There's been a nice variety of play calling defensively. That would have been. Oh, that would have been touchdown, but that should have been keep first down. Balance with what they're doing. I think the converse has been true in this game. Yeah, I think you're right. They seem to have gone off tendency quite a bit, but only the second quarter. A lot of time to change things. Flushed out right. And he's got a score. Let's go! Touchdown! Motherfucking Russell Wilson. Wilson. With his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Seahawks Let's go. have taken the lead. Extra point up and Shot it with my name is. And the <laughs> score 14-7. And after the touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. That's fielded in the end zone. Hey. The game of tag ain't the great one for no reason, man. And he'll wind up getting an extra couple yards here for his trouble as he'll bring this one out to the 27. <laughs> the Pats at the line ready to go. A tale of two extremes already in this game. A get him. pass on their opening drive followed by an interception last time out. Now it sounds like things balance out, right? What's that? that I'm getting pissed off I can't get off this line. If you have a candy bar, have a diet soda with it, it balances it out. And we know that's not really true, right? Because the interception, that sting lingers a little bit longer. Got to come out now and put together some nice plays. I'm going to get off that hole. 
We're going to get off this whole watch. Time, Jonathan Coachman will join us from Orlando with our halftime report. But business to take care of before Alabama. we get there. A two-minute drill before the coaches. Two-minute drill. He's going to let this one go deep. Oh, he got too much time. This is taken in. It's complete. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. Give him 32 on the play. First down, here's White. And he works it past the, the 30, almost to the 25. That'll be a New England first down, a gain of 12. Better pass it. Pick. 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 This will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. You do for one. Didn't have a receiver open down. You do for one. Go on and throw it right now. I'll give you five dollars. <laughs> Clowny up the edge. Looking back to the air on second down. It's Brady. And this is caught. It's Edelman. And he gets it all the way down inside. Oh, they kept the that inside. And mark him at the five. Brady going to throw. And that's going to be caught for a Patriot touchdown. Mm-hmm. I see you. How much time is left? There to make the grab. Oh, that's not enough time. Point away now from tying this football game. Gaskowski, the extra point. And Who got ball first? Game here in a back and forth first half. I did. Got down. This 39 one seconds ain't enough time. Now as he sends this one away. You gonna let me score? And no return on this one. It's a fair catch. A signal four and take it. Hey, go on, let me score. Go on, blitz or something. Shit. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. And we're under a minute to go here. What's been an even first half all tied up? Yeah, still time to make something happen, too. A couple completions, just string them together. Could get in the field goal range. Let's see what happens. He'll get three yards on the scramble there. It's second down. Hey, you better keep on okay, doing that. He's not going to get the first down, but this is still a nice job of buying some time and then oh, I am. to get to the sideline and get he out of it and avoid the big hit. Here's second and seven now from the 28. Push him back. Good, good. Push him back. There's Wilson. Woo! Oh, bullshit. Bullshit. Oh, Jackson. And they'll set up shop right near midfield at the 49 yard line. Bullshit. Late in the clock, second quarter. Why not just run it a time or two and get it All in the right. locker room? The Manning ball is looking out for you. Absolutely perfect sense. Run it and get out of there. But I'm just wondering if the pressure of today's NFL and the high powered offenses that you're facing. If y'all score, I'm going to be so fucking mad. Let's try and get some more points. Looking for more there on first down, but this throw downfield incomplete. Edelman, the intended receiver that time, and that'll bring it wide the fuck open every fucking time. Fuck your wide receivers. To throw again, Brady. He's gonna look deep for Edelman. Fuck your wide receivers. So Fuck your wide receiver. Fuck your wide receiver. He's trying to go back to Edelman, but now it's third down. So back to back. Fuck your wide receiver. That has him staring at a third and ten. From the gun, it's Brady. And he knocks. Fuck your wide receiver. It falls incomplete. Oh, I might have gave something up on this one. Them. They're gonna go for it on four. <laughs> They'll go for it. It's you got this one. He's gonna air it out for Dorsett, and that will be incomplete. Four ticks left here on the clock. Boy, it looked like he had it and dropped it. And this defense will take over right Fuck here in the field at the 49-yard line. Here's oh, the offense ready to get this drive. You ain't expecting that. And from this spot in the field with the clock where it's at, you think we're just going to see a knee and that's it? And I think in this situation, that's the proper play. 
But we do know there's some risk takers out there that may want to take one more shot before the clock runs out. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted. I'm kicking the horn thought. Lines up falling incomplete. And ready to get the party started for the second half. It was an even first half all time. Come on, defense. We're going to let this now motherfucker get back in the game. Zone. And he's able to Fumble. get it across the 20, but not by much, as he's marked down at the 21-yard line. I can't get up that damn line to get some pressure on that trash-ass nigga Tom Brady. The Pats at the line, ready to go. First half showed us some pretty good offense. Tie game, we'll see what the second half brings. And it'll be interesting because I think both sides feel pretty good about what their offenses are doing. Gotta wonder what oh, adjustments are being made defensively to try to get a spark and maybe slow down the other side. But here, do you change up anything on this opening drive? Not offensively, you don't. You've got everything going your way. You've probably prepared for maybe some change-ups you might expect, but overall, you like what your game plan showing you. Come on, get the fuck up this line. Down leads to a second and ten. On second down, they'll run with White, and he'll get about six up to the 27-yard line. Oh, fuck it. I done fucked it up. They stay on the ground with White. And he's going to have the first down yardage to the 35. Third and medium, they opted to run instead of pass, and it worked. First down. At this stage of the game, the run pass numbers are a little bit out of whack because most of the yardage has come through the air. But in a sense, it just sets things up for big runs like that because the defense might be a little bit off balance. They pick up another first down with that Yo, run. why ain't these niggas grabbing the ball? Incomplete. So, Charles, tie game here. What are your keys as we continue to play this second half? I know people think it's always trite when you say the same things over and over, but they're tried and true in the game of football. Who's going to block better? Who's going to tackle better? In this case, to me, it's turnovers. You've got to take care of the football in order to win the game. On second down, Michelle. And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. Give him 15 yards on that one, and New England has a first down. I don't even think I ran the ball yet. If I had, I don't think it's with uh, Marshawn Lynch. From midfield, here's Brady. Going deep here for oh, that's me. And nearly Bro, why am I not catching these balls? Instead, second down. Tremendous coverage there. Just did not catch the football and complete the interception. Bulls, I ain't catching none of these fucking balls. If he had really good hands, he'd be playing offense. On second down now, Michelle. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. That goes as a gain of 11 and a Patriot first down. Check 15, check 15. Pilot, 64, we. Outside run. Brady now on first down. He's going to let this go for the end zone. Oh, that's big. And this is going to be intercepted. Trey Flowers picks it. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. First possession of the third quarter, an interception, so maybe a second half tone setter. Indeed. And we built for this. They wanted to set. That's the equivalent of running out the wrong door. And running into your pool instead of running out onto the field. Oh no, I'm not going to march on. I'm going to his twin. No, but the stories about teams actually doing that back in the good old days. A loss of two there, second down. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football, but that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result. Negative yardage. Mm. Throw on second down, but this one is I ain't getting no separation. Nothing was the target there, and yeah, that'll make it third down. I know that interception was dropped, and it would have been their third of the game. And I will guarantee you, in the huddle on the bench, all the defensive guys have been talking so far. about is we've got this guy right where so we far. Want. Who's gonna get the next one? It almost becomes a oh, and Wilson's gonna I could have lobbed it. That's my fault. I'm trying to lose this game. Jackson and his guys are going to take over at the 31 yard line. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Inside run. So after the INT, it's Brady. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. 
it is tough to complete pass against zone defenses. The windows that you see open, they shrink pretty rapidly. We watch him. How about being able the to hit a moving him. target against a zone before the next guy can get there and make a play on the ball? Not easy for any quarterback, no matter the situation. And there, the defense won the battle. Now, Michelle. And that's one of the reasons you like to blitz even on rundowns. It confuses the blocking assignments and doesn't allow those offensive linemen to get up to the second level. From the gun on third down, Brady. And he's got some. That's move. my fault. And he gets that's this my fucking the 18, fault. Good enough for a first down. That catch puts him over 70 yards receiving now as he's got a first down. On first down, Michelle. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. It's a nice pickup of 12 yards, and it gives him a first and goal. Trying to pound it in here with Michelle. And that'll move him a little closer as he takes it from the 7 down to the 4-yard line. Michelle on an island by himself in the backfield, second and goal. Hey. Uh, he's got it. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. They get only a yard there. Now it's third and goal. And partner, I think that's a great example that not all tight ends are created equal. Because everything was right. Got the completion. But he's not one of the more dynamic guys in the league. So even though he caught it, couldn't turn it into much more. Now Brady. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. We've seen good cover skills on display throughout this game, really from both teams. And oh, you got to kick nice it? There oh, put that, nigga. To complete a pass. And the 13-year man puts it through, and they take a 17-14 lead. A good drive gets him inside the five, but they could not punch it in. And credit the defense, too. Make sure. Ooh, thank you, Lord Jesus. That was the old bend but don't break approach. Made sure they contained them when they absolutely I appreciate it. to enforce the field goal attempt that went through. Now it was meant it was meant to be. Good starting field position here for the Seahawks as they come up first and ten at the 40. Now a give right side. You better be. Carson. You better be. Down, you better be. Into enemy territory. First down, Seattle on a pickup of 13. A good run there off right tackle in an old school NFL football. You right better be scared of that nigga. Often known as the nasty side. The left side, usually the technical side. Kind of reminds me of the old Atlanta Falcons 2009 2010. That's how you better be scared there. of that nigga. And he's taken down inside the 30. That'll pick up the first down for Seattle on a gain of 18. Now it's Wilson. And an alley door. Wilson hit. I knew they were going to do that it's fucking bullshit. And it's picked up by the Patriots. And they will finally stop him as he's down to the 40 yard line. I tried to juke you. That's the fucking wild thing that happened. They'll run on first down. It's White. And he only manages a couple here down to about the 38 yard line. Three quarters have come and gone. I might lose this one. Return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. <laughs> I can't get nothing going. He's running it. Left side, left side. They stay on the ground. This time it's Michelle. Three yards on the pickup. That's going to set up an interesting third and about four to go. Here's Brady to throw. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Nah, that's Bobby Wagner. And his guys are that's Bobby Wagner. At the 23 yard line. That's Bobby Bobby Wagner. Here to begin their next drive. The Seahawks are yeah, I know who he is. And last time the turnover on the fumble. And they were in enemy territory. So that had to be very frustrating. Down on the scoreboard here. Can't do it again. I see. He nailed every part of what was frustrating. <laughs> Down on the scoreboard. Had a drive going. I can't get it. Past the 50 yard line. So if I don't catch this ball right distance, here, this game. And to come away with nothing. Not a good feeling at all, to put it mildly. 
Now they can't afford to do that again. Well, now can they get that bad taste out of their mouth here? And they'll get it all the way up about five If I don't get this ball right here, that's game again. A game there of 21 yards. So signs of life and what's going to lock it. Offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. From the gun, it's Wilson. Oh, that's shit. From Lockett. And that will be incomplete. Would have been a big hitter if they had connected. Instead, it's second down. It's been this way most of the afternoon. I told you I was going. Secondary and really put this receiving core on lockdown. Listen, they've worked together like a basketball team is playing excellent defense. Great communication, doesn't matter whether it's man or zone. Mm. Pressure from his right, and he goes down hard. Flat yeah, I've seen back. it late. I've seen it late. That's my fault. Credit him with a sack, and it goes as a loss of six. Wilson of the Seahawks looking for something big following the sack. It's third and long here. Now it's Wilson. They'll roll him out right. He's they ain't got nothing but green in front of us. Take that, motherfucker. Go downfield, but he's able to get out of bounds and stop the clock here with a first down. So into Pat's territory now. Here's first and ten at the 44-yard line. Here's Wilson. I ain't got to. And that is Bro. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. We have Bruh, they is bullshitting me. And receivers, everything seemingly has been contested. And that's another nice job there to force an incompletion. They've been very cohesive, knowing each other's moves all game long. And they've been on the spot just about every time. And they've held them in check on the scoreboard. Another throw on second I down. Really this one can't incomplete as well. Shit and now going. offensively is third and ten. And I'm just thinking to myself, Literally. actors always say, What's my motivation before a big scene? Right now the play caller is thinking, What have I done before that's worked well that I can go to right now? Yeah, because they were pretty successful in the first half scoring points. Haven't done anything so far here in the second half. That's right, because I'm I'm on a win streak and I can't play coming up. Here's third and ten. I don't know how to control myself. Some pressure here. The pressure drops off as they'll look to throw. Yo! And that will be incomplete as well. I remember growing up playing basketball. My coaches always talked about communicating on defense, making sure you talk on yeah, defense, gang. know where your screens are, know where I can't the cuts get are coming from, going. who has who. I mean, but guess what? It's the same thing. I can run the ball, but it's a little too late for that shit. You can hear all the screams of screen, screen. This defense, the bench, everyone let them know what the play was. And yeah, that's I've where been able to react chill. and knock the ball away. Big series right here. We gotta step it up. Fourth down. Here's Wilson. Flush to his right. He may try and run for this. This nigga got my fucking wedding. Oh, stupid bitch. And the Patriots defense is going to take over on downs. Oh, yeah, that's game. First fourth down attempt earlier was successful. This one backfires for a turnover on downs. That's more fucking game. I like game. aggressiveness. I like what they're doing. They got it the first time they went for it. Why not a second time? I don't think they'll be daunted from attempting it again. If you're on the defensive side of the ball, though, any fourth down stop is a big momentum play. Outside, outside. They fake the handoff. Now, Yo, what is you doing? Um, what the fuck is this nigga's name? Oh, Wagner done jumped in and out twice. There for the Patriots as they've got themselves a first down. On first down, White. Oh, you fucked that up. Tackle you had it. The safety, Trey Flowers. From the 39, Brady. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's we got to. It was obvious that we can't fucking get off this line. It's pissing me off. And see the ball coming out of the quarterback's hands? Guess what? It creates a lot of confusion. Kind of a muddle in the middle of the field where you can go make a play on the football. And this one brought in by Sanu. And they'll get him down about three yards short of the first. I got to trip this up. I got to trip this up. We got three. We got three. 
Three points separating yeah, these two better. sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. So the Patriots with a football as we get you reset. They're looking Don't miss it. Down now as they try to hold on to this lead for dear life. Yeah, you missed and it. That is no good. Thank oh, you. you. Thank right you. Upright, and this score will stay right where it is. Maybe an important the Maddox odds look out for me once again. Game. Yeah, now overtime is very much in the equation here. Just what you mentioned, a three-point game. They get a drive, put it through the post. We can have We're going to give you one more game. chance. Here's the Seattle offense ready to get this drive underway. They had a great drive going last time. They were moving the ball, and then all of a sudden it just stalled out. So we'll see what they can do here, Charles. And it's always easy to second guess when you don't get it on a fourth down try. But they had to like the feeling that they had going on offense. They want to continue to see if they can capture that again on this drive. Fake and ass in this shit. Position. Yeah, Can't even I mean, tackle, man. They moving the football. It's not like they went four and out, so I don't think it's a deal where the offense doesn't have confidence. No, I agree with you totally on that one. If, if anything, they may have gained more confidence. Okay. Okay, they stopped us once. That's all right. Let's keep moving it. Make them do it again. They'll run again with Lynch. Uh, He's going to be stopped well behind the yeah, line of game. scrimmage. And that's pretty much going to wipe out their gain from first down. That's going to go down as a loss of five. And it brings up third down. That's game. Extra well, I can get a field goal range, but I don't want to go to down. overtime. If we go to overtime, I'm losing. Back to throw. And the throw wow. Are you fucking kidding me? Able to complete it there and just not the game that you would expect from him. He's been off the mark really start to finish. Yeah, it makes you wonder what exactly is going on. Is he a little bit dinged up here? Or is it just off just by a bit? Maybe he can get it back in this situation. He'll need to. They'll try and throw for it with Wilson. And oh, a crusher! Okay. There as it's intercepted, picked off by Deron Harmon, and his guys are going to take over at the 34-yard line. That's now three turnovers in this second half. Very costly. And earlier in the half, Charles, when I asked you for your keys to the second half, you said, hey, maybe trite, but it's going to be turnovers. That's been the story. It certainly has, but I didn't expect it to be this much of the story. I mean, when you're getting up to three, you're really putting your team in jeopardy. Now the Seahawks are going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with just a few seconds timeout. left to go. Go on the pass the ball then. Keeping it on the ground on first, Michelle. Oh, bitch. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. Now the Seahawks call the second of their three timeouts. As the clock stops with 23 seconds to go in the game. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. They'll run it. This is Michelle. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Now the Seahawks forced to use their third and final timeout as they'll stop it with 17 seconds to go in the game. Back to back good plays have them on the move on first down. Brady gets to Michelle. Defensively, a solid response after giving up back to back first downs. And now with four seconds left, oh, we're now gonna try it. Call. Oh, you so a great bitch. Kicks of the night is forthcoming. This will be a 37 yard attempt. And Goskowski, that's no good. He hung it out to the right. He missed it. And this score will stay right where it is. So it's an empty trip downfield there as they get a missed field goal on fourth down. And I didn't see anything in the setup. It's a good snap, good hold. Yep. He just pushed it. And that one never wanted to come back. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. Look at the clock. Everyone knows the situation. Probably time here for one final play. 
And we know what that play is going to be. It's got to be some sort of Hail Mary throwing it towards the end zone and hoping someone can catch it or catch it off of a tip. Think back to 2015. Didn't we see Green Bay pull that off yep, twice absolutely. in the season? Once in the regular season, once in the playoffs. So stranger things have happened. To do a little studying, but it's not gonna help you now. This is the NFL on EA Sports, and we are in the Pacific Northwest at CenturyLink Field in Seattle, Washington. This crowd, as we've come to expect in recent years, as loud as any in the NFL, and they get even louder when their Seahawks are introduced. We're ready for football as the Seahawks get set to do battle with Dak Prescott and the Dallas Cowboys. Format now to get us started, and off we go from Seattle. This is taken about seven yards deep, and he'll take this one near the 25, call it the 26 yard line. You ready? Because I don't think you are. on the game's first play, second down. I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down, a very solid gain on that play. 14, 14. On second down, Lynch. Still a couple yards short of the first as the three-yard gain brings up a third down. Partner, we know today's NFL is really built around the guy throwing the football. But these short runs, they still pay dividends because they can take their toll on a defense and they can add up as the game goes along. You control the clock, you control the ball, and that way you often control the game. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. 11 yards there and a first down for Seattle. So after the run by Lynch, here's another first and 10. Going to give this time to the tailback. And running room scarce here. He's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there. Second down. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. Now they'll throw it with Wilson. That's complete to DK Metcalf. 
And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 43. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 at the 43. He's crashed. They'll run with Marshawn Lynch, and he's dropped right at the 40. Gain of three. What's the old expression? Three yards in a cloud of dust? In this case, it's dust-covered pellets. It's no longer that old grass that we used to play on right and chew it up. Now we've got that artificial surface. You see the pellets go up. Still a nice play by the defense. Looking for Lockett, and it's intercepted. Picked up by the linebacker, Jalen Smith. And he's able to take this one back to the 36-yard line. Oh, shit. Certainly not how they envisioned ending their opening drive here in the first quarter. Slightly not. Ones in this play. First quarter, first drive, first interception thrown. And that last one, that Shut your bitch ass up, commentator. I don't know what you're talking so about. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Fumble, sack fumble. Now the first carry for Ezekiel Elliott. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven. Leaves him with a second and three. A nice run here early on. It doesn't take a great play call to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber with runs like this early because they'll pay dividends as the game progresses. On second down, Elliott. And this carry not as productive. He's swallowed up at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain that time as it's going to leave him with a third and about three to go. They'll try and run oh. with Elliott. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. Give him 15 there, and the Cowboys have a first. And there we see an early burst that makes him one of the leading rushers in the league. Well, let's get a free you know, play right here. Don't pass it. You better run it. Right down the word vision for him. It was on display there, wasn't it? It certainly was because he allows the blocks to set up in front of him. If that continues, it'll be a long afternoon for those guys trying to play some defense. Give him 10 there. Good enough for a Cowboy first down. So back-to-back -back big runs, picking apart this defense on the opening drive. I thought this was a passing league. I thought this was the era we were in where the ball was always in the air, right? They didn't get the memo. And they didn't get the memo, and I know this to be true. Offensive linemen still, to this day, they want to run the football. They want to fire out and hit people across the line of scrimmage, and they're clearing space. A tackle made by K.J. Wright. This drive is pretty clear. Almost feels like old school fundamentals, doesn't it? Want to impose their will on the defense. Was that five straight runs? Yeah, five straight carries to start this drive. And like you said, the way it's working, they may just stick with it. Going to throw deep for the end zone. Oh, he almost had it for the pick. A great chance there for the interception in the end zone. Instead, third down. They come up now, third and five, following the incomplete pass. Out of the gun, here's Prescott. Polluting the pressure right. He can run yeah, why you come up, will. KJ? And he's out of bounds, almost gets to the 10. Opted to run for it, the decision a good one. Picking up the first, getting 14 yards on the scramble. We're scoring like eight of the whole one. fucking quarter. I mean, I had the ball, but shit. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Cowboys in possession. As they've got it with a first and ten. Big stop, 47. Mike Smith in the Prescott looks to throw on first. Now that'll be tipped and intercepted. Picked off inside the five. And he will bring this all the way. Like it ran like he had bad knees or some shit. The fuck? Brandon, this is why golfers do their best to never count a score in their head before the ball goes in the cup. This looked like a slam dunk for points on this drive, didn't it? Instead, they throw an interception, and they're going to come away empty. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. And it is true. You can draft the fastest. You can draft the most athletic guys. But if they don't know the art of positioning, sometimes it's all for naught. In this case, in the right spot, help force the incompletion. Yeah, but had his hands on it for a second. Would have been a tough catch, though. Falls incomplete. After getting stuffed on first down, not much better there. Two-yard gain. On third down, Wilson. Oh, 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 oh. Where did he come so it doesn't from? Look like they're going to be able to build off the turnover. Well, the defense certainly did its part. It got them the football. But you're exactly right. It looks like they're going to have to punt this one away. 
and it's not a turnover, but doesn't it feel like one after grabbing the momentum with the defensive play? Yeah, and they had all that momentum after getting the football, and now zapped right back in the other direction. Here's Wilson. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Malik Collins, and that will force a turnover on downs. So they take a big, big chance here in their own territory, and you think the coach may have some questions to answer? Yeah, and, you know, normally we focus on the media, right, the social media barrage that he's going to get for this one. How about on his own sideline and in his locker room? Yeah. I think the team's going to look at him like, Coach, why would we go for it there? I mean, no confidence in the defense. You don't like the punter. I mean, what's going on here? You owe us some explanations. Throw it. Prescott. And that is caught. It's Witten for the Cowboy touchdown. We gave you that, too. Touchdown pass as his guys are first out of the scoreboard here this afternoon. And down near the goal line here, they're able to throw it in. And the key word, quick. Quick hitter out of his hands fast, into the receiver's hands even faster. Forbath, the extra point, and it's now a 7-0 game. Forbath to send it away now following the touchdown. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And he'll wind up about four yards shy of where he would have been if he had taken a knee as they'll start at the 21-yard line. Let's play football. Here's the Seattle offense ready to get this drive underway. And last time this unit was out here, costly turnover, and then that turned into six points. They've got to make amends. And how many times have we sat in meetings with coaches and they use the term complimentary football? <laughs> offense take care of the defense, defense take care of the offense. That didn't happen on the last possession. This is a chance for them to pick themselves back up and help their team. Yeah, we'll see if they can recoup and recover. And he's able to get out to the 32, brought down there. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Out of the gun, here's Wilson. He'll get this out to Lynch, complete. It'll be a two-yard gain, and that'll make it second down. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end, but running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. So second and eight here after the pass play for two yards on first down. Now Wilson. That's into the hands of his tight end, Will Disley. And he'll go out of bounds, it looks like, right at the 40. Let's not quibble about the game there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-get situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives a much better opportunity to convert on third down. Third and two. Now Wilson. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Jalen Smith in there to get him for a loss of three, and it will be fourth down. I think normally we would talk about this more with basketball players and football players, but let's adopt it in this case. He's a stat sheet stuffer. Had the interception earlier, now a sack. But he just needs a touchdown for the trifecta. That's about all he needs, and he's going to go for it. He may try and run for this. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. Five yards on the scramble, and that's enough to pick up the first. Well, it was a time that we needed something. We needed that right Two there. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Come on, fellas. Fans, a reminder, I have a note card here that says ad-lib halftime preview. So I guess let's do just that as we'll hand things over to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. The take, Demarcus Lawrence with a sack. I'm starting to feel for that quarterback back there. I mean, you know me. Normally, don't have a lot of empathy for the QB, right? In this case, definitely. He's been on constant duress this entire game. I don't know how he's surviving back there. And to think, there's still a long way to go in this football game. Wilson on target there to Moore. Huh. Give him six there, but now it's third. On target. Nigga, we wasn't on Eighth play target. the drive, fourth coming, and they need eight yards on third down. Wilson. He can run for it, and he will. The decision to tuck and run gets him three, but that's not enough. Now it's fourth. Again, the offense will stay out there. They've converted once on this drive, 
What can they do here on fourth down? To throw is Wilson. And it is incomplete. So certainly an interesting call there to go for it. And Dallas, they'll take over in terrific field position. On first and ten, Prescott. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. I know at times people think we use it too often, but you've got to be able to throw guys open. And when you read zone, you've got to stick it in there before your receiver gets to the next guy in the zone. Otherwise, you bring him into the play. And that's precisely what allowed that defense to disrupt the pass. On second down, Prescott again. And that will be incomplete. Try to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. I'm sure that pass was incomplete as they made an attempt to get a big one downfield, but that's okay because the second part of that is if you don't get the completion, at least you've told the defense you're trying to stretch them out a little bit, and they may have to change accordingly. Now the Cowboys going to burn the first of their timeouts as it comes with 22 seconds to go here in half number one. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. Here we go, 46. Hey, hey, hey. They play fake daily. Now Prescott. Into heavy traffic and it's intercepted. Picked off by Quandre Diggs. And his guys have got it back at the closing stages of the first half. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. And the ball backed way up, so thinking with this amount of time on the clock, probably just sit on it, and we'll see these two teams go to the lockers. Yeah, I don't think you want to overthink it in this situation. Either side of the ball, just go ahead and finish up the half and get on out and talk about it. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. On first and ten, it's Wilson dancing to his left. There goes a deep ball in zone. Last touchdown. Oh! And that is incomplete. What? Took a shot there on first down, but he couldn't reel it in. First half in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Okay, coach. Appreciate a, a one touchdown game here as we get set to resume play in the second half. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. They have the lead. Now they'll be looking to extend that lead. And this is where I enjoy talking about one of my favorite subjects, tendency breakers, or counters as I also like to call them. You've done things in a certain way in the first half, and they've had ability to see what you've done. They're going to make their adjustments. So guess what? You adjust yourself and try and stay ahead of the pace because you are looking for some separation in this ball game. The adjustment to the adjustment. Without a doubt. <laughs> show them one thing, hit them with something else. It'll be a nickel look here for the Seahawks on third down. Prescott from the gun. Escaping the pressure right. Complete to Jason Witten. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A really nice gain of 25 yards. So from Seahawk territory now, it's first and 10 at the 46. And he's going to go down. They sack him back at the 42. Quentin Jefferson. What an effort from him on that play. Big tackle for a loss of 11. This is Elliott. 
And he'll get this up past the 45 to the 47. Give him five yards on the run there, but it'll leave him with a definite third and long on the horizon. Under 10, under 10, 10. Check, 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 check. Off play action to Elliott. Here's Prescott. He's going to air one out. Oh, incomplete. Nearly the pick they needed. They would have loved one there, but at least it does get them to fourth down. We've seen these defenses make enough opportunistic plays to keep this one low scoring. Flying around, making plays on the ball, and we see yet another errant throw as a result. He's going to loft one deep left side here. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Trey Flowers picks it. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Well, on fourth down, that turned out like a punt. Maybe he was better defensively there just to knock it down. And you know they go over those situations. All right, fourth down. Where is the ball? Where would we get the ball? But instinct takes over, and when it's in the air, they just go and get it. So it's hard to get on him for intercepting it, but the smart play would have been what you suggested. Knock it down and take over in a deeper position. To throw on second and six, Wilson. No this nigga getting off that line. Too damn fast. Demarcus Lawrence able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. After the sack, they'll come up now third and long. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised to see them run the ball here just to try and get some space. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. Another drive comes and goes, still nothing on the scoreboard. Yeah, and when the second half comes, you know, it's real easy to get discouraged and wonder if we're ever going to get things started. We just got to fight through it. Got to keep pounding away. Here we go on fourth with Wilson. He may try and run for this. Wilson hit. Oh my loose. God! I so I, I slid. And his guys are going to take over at the 21 yard line. Prescott now, after the fumble recovery, he's going to let it go deep for the end zone. That ball is caught. It's Gallup. Touchdown, Cowboys. Michael Gallup. Good game. The grab. And the that game gets long to go. Short field to their advantage as they cash in for six. Forbath able to convert the extra point, and that'll make the score 14 to zip. Forbath to send it away now following the touchdown. This is taken about seven yards deep. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26 yard line. That spy doing wonders for you, though. I'll tell you that, much. Seattle offense ready to get this drive underway. And last time, not only the turnover, but that turned into six points. They got to make up for that here. You always hear about empty possessions. But some are worse than others. You can have an empty possession, pump the ball away, get yourself set to play defense. But when you turn it over, it changes momentum. And when they take it downfield and punch it in on you, that's a bad possession all the way around. Yeah, but you're hungry to get back out there, aren't you? You better be, because otherwise, it's going to be a long day for you. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Go down right around the 47 this time. I did not fucking mean to do that. On the scramble there, it's second down. How about a tip of the cap to the defense? They're working against a very mobile quarterback, but all day long they've kept him under wraps. And on that play, they held him to a short gain. On second down, it's Lynch. They had three yards on first down, just one yard there. Well, that didn't appear to be a run blitz. He just started in once he saw the run develop. That appeared to be a case of see ball, get ball. Wilson now on third down. He rifles one that's intercepted. Okay. Picked off by the linebacker Jalen Smith. And he will score. Touchdown. That is Cowboys. This D wanted to put it away before we even get to the fourth quarter, widening that margin a bit further. And while they won't just empty the bench just yet, if you're a backup, Start loosening up. I think you'll get a chance to play before this one is over now with that type of a cushion. Forbath, the extra point, and it's now 21 to nothing. Almost. 
Oh, uh, that's one that zone. I can't get shit going on in the second half. And I got blown out. And he'll make it across the 20. As that's the Madden guard shot. telling me I need to at take my ass to bed. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. And here we go. Almost two three play. quarters of play in this passing game. Still has not really found any kind of rhythm. Passing the running game. Number they could find any rhythm. And in today's NFL, where it's a pass first league, that is quite surprising. Not many teams patient enough to stick with the run. Everybody wants to advance the ball through the air. They've got to get their timing back. Watch the slip. Watch the slip. Good slip. Now on second and 13, Wilson, it's caught, Lockett, and he will be taken down, but a big pickup there on what's going to be the final play of the third quarter. Back now in Seattle, Washington. A lot of folks starting to make their way to the parking lot. Their guys trail big here to begin quarter number four. Going for Metcalf on the deep ball. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. The intended receiver was DK Metcalf. That'll bring up second down. So second down, still 10 yards to go. Ball on the 43. Now Wilson to throw again. Forced out to his left. He'll wind up getting four there on his own, but it will leave him now with a third down situation. It's a gain of four. Here's Wilson to throw on third down. And he's got Lockett. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 32-yard line. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 at the 32-yard line. This is pro size on the carry. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. It's a gain of 15. First down, Seahawks. Finally, a first red zone opportunity for these guys. They've got a first and 10 at the 17. Throwing is Wilson. And that going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. Wilson throwing again and he whips that one incomplete there just nothing there again he's been sacked multiple times we've seen the interceptions of course uh, he's really been through the ringer hasn't he and what we've seen is a defense is well coordinated the front and the back really in sync the front putting on the and Wilson's gonna be intercepted a third time picked off by Jeff Heath and the return just out across the 15 to the 16-yard line. Well, this defensive pressure has been constant all game long. The pass rush, the coverage, they've all been excellent. And now they'll tack on an interception here as this one continues to slip just further and further out of hand. They'll start the drive with Elliott. 10 yards.